Boom. He's weird, bro. That's weirdo. Weirdo. Weirdo, 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 weirdo. Yes, yes. Weirdo. Yes. Chris from Mr. Beast, bro. It's fucked up. It's weird. It's weird, bro. It's weird. It's weird. I don't care. That shit is weird, bro. It's weird. Should it not be it, it like what a video? Let me get a, let me see the tweet, bro. Whatever the tweet, the video. I just heard it on some blogs and shit. I'm like, bro, what the fuck, bro? Like, what is going on, bro? Like, how do you see? How do you? How do you see? How do you know the age of someone, knowing that you're a grown ass man? And still move forward, but I don't understand it. I don't, bro. I don't, gang. I, I see a lot of people asking me to comment on 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 the the Mr. Beast situation, or whatever, with with Chris. Listen, it's fucking simple. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you are. I don't care what community you're part of. I'm talking to fucking anyone underage. Hello. It's not. It's not difficult. Don't condone it. Just don't fucking do it. I don't know what to tell you, man. Now listen, guys. I I, I I can promise you, it's not hard. Here's what you do, chat. Ready? You just don't DM anyone. Obviously. <laughs> dude, like it's 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 not it's not hard. It's not it's really not hard to be faithful, dude. It's um, it's probably one of the easiest things in the world. You just, I mean, you just like, like I don't tell you, it's not hard. <laughs> like I don't tell you, I don't do that. I go I go out of my way to make sure that I am never even alone in another room with a woman ever ever in any moment. Like even like my P, there was a, even like my PR person. Like it, it doesn't matter who it is. I don't care if they work for me, whatever, bro. There is someone else in that room at all times. If we're alone, I leave. Instantly. That's like, that's on like fidelity, right? As for anything else, dude, it, it just, I don't DM anyone. Bro. I DM my boys. Like, I DM like guys in the community. No, there's no private messages going on with any girls. If there are, it's some, it's like someone like Chica or like just like people in the space. And then I let my wife know. And then as for like the people that I know, bro, if I don't know you, I am not DMing you. I don't want to get to know you, dude. I don't want to find out you're only 17. Like, I don't know how to explain it, man. I'm also 33 years old and like, like, you know, if I was freaking 19, 20 again, like, and I wasn't, you know, in an incredible relationship, it's, it, I don't know. First things first, Nico is right? That's first of all. Second of all, bro, I do want to say one thing that's insane. Why are all these creators so scared to talk about fucking uh, 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 Chris Tyson, but they were so easy to talk about Dr. Disrespect? That just doesn't make any sense to me, bro. Don't say GG's chat. It shouldn't affect anything about the new direction we're going, but come on, I'm being real. Why are so many creators scared to tweet and talk about it, but they were so quick to put all these tweets about Dr. Disrespect? It's just insane. It's like obvious, chat, what's going on here. If you know, you fucking know. X, X, X is one person that's fair. He likes consistency. It doesn't matter who you are, your sexuality, your race, your gender. It don't fucking matter. If somebody's called out for being a fucking pet, and there's, there was more proof on Chris than there was on Dr. Disrespect. Like, come on, I'm not saying too wrong. I'm not defending Dr. Disrespect. He's a pet too. But I'm just saying, like, there's literally more. I, bro, I'm watching clips, bro. I'm like, what the fuck am I hearing right now, bro? Snapchat messages and shit. Hey, Mr. Beast. My little brother used to watch you guys, Mr. Beast. I have a five-year-old brother who watches you guys, Mr. Beast. To find out that Chris is a fucking paddle f Man, do you know what that means to me? I have a little brother who watches you, Mr. Beast. I have a little brother who's five years old who watches you. You know how much that means to me, bro? That hurts my heart, bro. That hurts my heart, bro. You have a big following, Mr. Beast. You got trannies and fucking paddle f on your shit, bro. Like, fix up, bro. What the f is going on? Like, Mr. Beast, I love your content. You know, my little brother watches you all day, bro. But finding this out, I hope he doesn't find that he was a pedophile. Out, bro, because you might lose a subscriber, bro. You just gotta watch out for these pedophiles, bro. Watch your circle, bro. I about people talking about it. I just, I just don't get why everyone nowadays is so scared to talk about shit, bro. Speak your fucking mind. That shit is weird. He's weird in general. He's been weird, bro. It's just, I don't know, chat. Motherfuckers nowadays are so scared to just be open and speak your mind. I don't have any sponsorships. No one even likes me. Who gives a? F it, it's just the truth, man. Ava Chris Tyson retires from every. Thinks Mr. Beast is in the midst of a dispute about gender. Tyson has been accused of acting inappropriately around a person. But the claimed victim, who is now 20 years old, disputes the claims. After following recent allegations that began on July 21, Chris Tyson, a longtime member of the Mr. Beast YouTube team, officially left the channel. The accusations suggested that Tyson had previously had inappropriate conversations with someone, but this person, known as Al Lavix on X, has denied any involvement. Throughout their exchanges, Inappropriate behavior, in light of these claims, other accusations about Tyson's conduct toward individuals surfaced very fast. In a succinct post on X, Tyson made a declaration. Tyson expressed regret for his previous acts and emphasized that hurting others was never their goal. Tyson made no move to dispute or explicitly address the particular charges. 
Tyson ended the message by saying they were leaving Mr. BEST's YouTube channel, should prioritize their family on all social media channels, including channel the choice to split up with Mr. Beast was stated as mutual. I'm sorry for any previous actions or remarks that offended or wounded someone. That was not my intention. Tyson added, in light of recent events, we have mutually determined that it is appropriate for me to take a permanent hiatus from social media and everything, Mr. Beast, in order to prioritize my family and mental health at this time. Jimmy Donaldson offered his thoughts on the situation involving Tyson. However, numerous streamers and content creators have criticized Tyson on social media, urging Mr. Beast to address the issue. We will update you with any statements from Mr. Beast. This incident marks the second high-profile case involving allegations of inappropriate behavior. Late June, broadcaster Dr. Disrespect acknowledged texting someone in 2017 which resulted in his enigmatic removal from Twitch over. Chris Tyson has been exposed for a troubling past on social media and possibly inappropriate relationships. We proceed cautiously given the sensitive nature of this topic and the interactions we're looking at. Recently, it was discovered that Ava has an odd interest in particular kinds of artwork. In Prism 42's video, Numerous tweets and screenshots are displayed where Ava shows support for an online artist that, for safety reasons, I won't name. Ava appears to be particularly interested in this genre, as evidenced by her explicit artwork of well-known pop culture characters, some of which are forbidden to be depicted in this way. These accusations are grave and among the worst that can be made, so why are people making them when Ava made it so simple for them to do so? Several tweets depict Ava interacting with this kind of art. Some background information on the artist is necessary to comprehend the seriousness of with Ava's backing. This artist not only paints explicit portraits of the imaginary characters, but also of actual people, including Keemstar's daughter and a Spanish actress. These acts are well known among his fans. And whether Ava knew about them or not, it doesn't improve the issue. The initial spark for these revelations came from a bragging tweet that Ava posted about having this artist's artwork on display in their living room. A followed up with another tweet tagging the artist and showing a picture of a print featuring a child. Some might argue that such a purchase could be made ironically but displaying it at home seriously challenges that notion screenshots from old Mr. Beast videos stow this artwork in Ava's home raising significant. In recent times, the internet has witnessed the disturbing downfall of once popular content creators. Ava, a formerly celebrated figure, is a prime example. The troubling signs were always there, yet often overlooked. A significant turning point came when it was discovered that everyone featured in certain recordings or anyone visiting Ava's residence would invariably end up in unsettling situations. This pattern raised serious concerns about Ava's conduct and judgment. A particularly alarming incident involved Ava's reaction to a tweet featuring artwork from the animated series Asterisk Gravity Falls Asterisk. The artwork depicted the show's twin characters, Didba and Mabel. Ava's response to the tweet was both perplexing and troubling. She remarked that because the characters are twins, engaging with them was akin to playing with oneself. Given that Ava was an adult at the time, her comment was met with widespread disapproval and concern. This wasn't an isolated incident, either. There were several similar tweets that painted a disturbing picture of her mindset. Compounding these concerns were recent revelations about Ava's potentially improper relationships. The nature of these connections remains somewhat ambiguous, but the implications are serious enough to warrant scrutiny. This latest revelation is yet another indication of a pattern of troubling behavior that has become increasingly difficult to ignore. In considering these recurrent incidents, it becomes clear that what was once easily dismissed as exaggeration is now backed by undeniable evidence. The digital age has brought with it an era of accountability. The evidence against Ava and others like her is often so compelling that it leaves little room for doubt. This shift towards greater transparency and accountability is perhaps a sign that we are finally beginning to cleanse our digital spaces of bad actors. The impact of this reckoning is not limited to the exposure of individuals like Ava. 
It also serves as a wake-up call for the broader content creation community. As viewers and followers, we are more discerning than ever. We demand authenticity and respect from the creators we support. The rise of genuine and respectful content creators is a testament to this evolving dynamic. These creators understand that their audience values integrity and sincerity above all else. For those who remain on the platform, the lesson is clear. Authenticity is paramount. Genuine creators who respect their audience and engage with them honestly are more likely to thrive. The support for these creators is not just a trend, but a testament to a fundamental shift in how we consume content. We are moving away from sensationalism and towards substance. As this transition unfolds, it is important to recognize and support the creators who are making a positive impact. These individuals are often overshadowed by the more sensational stories of scandal and downfall, but they represent the future of content creation.